Good afternoon, class. Welcome to your first seminar for better heroing. Out there can be a tough place, even for a superhero. You kids have your work cut out for you, but we're glad to share our experience. Wish we had something like this when I was starting out. Not me. I had enough trouble as it is. In case you don't know, uh, my name is Rudy Royce. But you all probably know me as... The Aeronaut. And with me today, as I hope you will continue to be, is my good friend... The greatest supervillain of all time! Dr. Tiberius T. Tibble! The Emperor! <laughs> Formerly greatest ex supervillain, you mean? Ex. Excuse me. Listen, Pollyanna. I am just as much a menace now as I was in the old days. Is that so? You know, my son is still wondering if you'll be dressing up as Santa Claus again this year. You were the most adorably evil Father Christmas ever. Uh, then wait till he starts using the gravity gun I got him. It won't be so adorable then. <laughs> Levitating sweets out of the cookie jar? It'll be horrible, I'm sure. Why, you... What? Oh. Um, hey, guys. The lecture, remember? Oh, right. Thanks, Skip. Folks, Skip, our TA. <laughs> I, I, I just wanted to remind you. Didn't want to get in the way. I'll just, uh... I'll just be over there. Well, anyways, you recruits are very lucky these days. Dealing with the villains of the world is more... unionized now. Lone heroes against rogues. Grand showdowns between justice and chaos. These are a thing of the past, mostly. It's all process and procedure these days. Unaccounted for battles of destiny are a bit of a safety no-no. So, the good fight falls to you, recruits and future agents, to face the world's worst. Yes, they turned the whole thing into one big spy flick. So much for whimsy. Oh, feeling cynical today, are we? <laughs> sure. Whimsy or no whimsy, it's worked out pretty well so far. But it's not always simple. You'll need to be steadfast, strong, and true. And that takes one thing. Quite right. And that one thing is... Common Teamwork. sense. Or care to elaborate on that one tie? Naturally. But first... Teamwork... Really... You sound like a PSA. Hey, I'll have you know. Those PSAs played well. They're a staple of healthy adolescent development. Yeah. Anyways, sticking a bunch of random personalities on a team and expecting them to solve problems is dumb. Not everyone can play well with others. Someone, maybe everyone, will be a diva. Mark my word. You're going to get in each other's way before doing anything productive. Well, maybe when villains do it. Look at my old team, for instance. United Valor. Fighting evil. Saving the day. Doing good. I miss it. <laughs> what? The Fellowship of the Fair-Hearted? You must be crazy. You guys must have broken up like eight times. Even so... <laughs> if it wasn't for you, the whole thing would have fallen to pieces. Or don't you remember Pythia? A black and white view of justice? Thought you were soft and incompetent? Uncompromising and stubborn? A diva. Just like the rest of you. We had our rough patches, like I said. But I also said teamwork pulls through. And I stand by it. Whereas, villains... Eh. Far be it from me to make excuses for my old peers. Most either wanted to get rich, get revenge, or get their kicks hurting people. Not me, though. I was in it for the challenge. 
<laughs> yes, that's completely different. It gave me perspective. Take my old band of associates. <laughs> Consortium Nemesi. I wanted a name that was less uh, ridiculously conspicuous, but I got outvoted. The whole thing was headed up by an infamous diva and a self-proclaimed criminal mastermind named Adder. I think I remember him. Was he the guy with the red pajamas? <laughs> That's what you remember about him. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, him. Liked revenge, that guy. He was always barking orders, trying to rope us into his latest asinine scheme. It was inevitable, but in the end it was a newer member of the group, named Retrograde, who decided enough was enough. Called him out in front of everybody. Adder didn't take it well. Of course, neither did we. He couldn't up and treat us like minions, after all. To keep us from ending his foolish life, Ada proposed a ridiculous but also entertaining idea. He conceded to a contest to reestablish what he presumed to be superior leadership. He challenged each member of the consortium to enact their own evil plan. Whomsoever got away with the most successful evil scheme would lead us all. <laughs> See, this is exactly what I meant. With good teamwork, this wouldn't happen. Don't interrupt. Oh. The story is not over yet. Oh, right, right, right. Isn't this the one where you... Silence! You'll ruin the payoff. Every member tried their own plan. But most didn't think outside the box. I think Adder was the most ambitious. If I remember correctly, he tried to take over your headquarters. Almost won, too. Almost. Oh, I remember that. Tricky stuff. If it wasn't for- Silence, I say! We're getting to the best part. My plan. You see, I am not an idiot. While they fumbled and failed with their crazy schemes, I just grabbed my favorite doomsday device, swung by the latest metropolis, had a little chat with the mayor, and held the whole city ransom. <laughs> <laughs> For one dollar. Uh, and so I departed. <laughs> the only villain to successfully execute a plan. <laughs> Bet they were mad about that. <laughs> of course, but there was nothing they could do. They were outclassed. And thus we embarked on an age of unparalleled crime and villainy. At least until I staged a coup and had me thrown out. Ah, well. <laughs> Say la vie. As I recall, they were raided the very next week. Dodged a bullet. <laughs> Nothing to do with me, of course, just incompetent leadership. I know. In any case, I've proven my point. I had the good sense to act pragmatically, and the consortium was all the better for it. Meanwhile, without me, they didn't even last a week. Literally. Well, it wasn't just that. What? Oh, that's right. I, I never did tell you the grand story of how United Valor took down Consortium Nemesi, did I? Let's just say we had an inside man. Er, um, woman. What? Perhaps you remember Retrograde? Duchess of Death and Decay? She had a hand in the incident that started your little war, didn't she? Wait, wait, but you... You didn't. You couldn't have. Weren't you... Weren't you all... Uh... Yep. Not the way we expected that to end, but... I guess there are worse hands your club could have ended up in. But I gave her a welcome tour. Not of the town, a fancy dinner, a... Uh... Don't worry. She said you were a perfect gentleman. She went back and paid for that Dinah Dash, by the way. Who was it? A sidekick? Some no-namer? No, I bet it was Miss Majestic. She was always obnoxiously devoted. Nope. Imagine for a moment a warrior woman 
with a strong passion for justice, a good left hook, and a power over growth. Or lack thereof. Lack thereof? Retrograde had decaying powers. You don't mean Pythia? You got it. But no, no, she hated criminals. She never would have agreed to that. Does it make any sense? Well, we didn't always get along, but that's just how she was. She was tough on us because she so believed in doing the right thing. And she knew sometimes that meant swallowing your pride and walking into the viper's nest. Trusting your people to know what they're doing, even if you hated it. Dr. Tibble is right. Without sense, you might get yourself killed. Sometimes you have to take charge, as others won't always be right. But there's more to it than that. When you're only out for yourself, you're easy to destabilize. The Consortium never understood that. That's why they failed. But you need to trust. And make others trust you. So that when things get uncertain, you know it's for a good reason. What a load of bullshit. I don't know, isn't that how you got here, Ty? <laughs> Whatever. I'm out of here. Oh, uh, then, uh, then we'll save it for next time. Until then, remember, there's always a balance. It's up to you to find it. That was Tiberius Tibble. I'm Rudy Royce congratulating you on finishing your first seminar. But we'll meet again soon. So always be the hero you want to see. The hero the world needs, but not the one it... Oh, right. <laughs>